Addressing biosecurity from the perspective of stopping organisms coming into Hawaii is very important, but it's also important to address biosecurity from the perspective of inner island traffic. We have organisms that are on some islands that we're trying to manage, but we also want to stop those organisms from getting onto other islands. One good example is the mongoose. Mongoose were introduced to four of the main Hawaiian islands in the 1800s. They weren't introduced to Kauai during that time, and because of that, Kauai has served as a refuge for many species like nene, seabirds, like newel shearwaters. Um, those species have been wiped out on other islands for one reason is because of predation from mongoose. So our office, working with some of our partners like KISC and the state, DOFA, we're trying to prevent the introduction of mongoose to Kauai. And one of the ways that we're doing this is we're starting strategic planning to beef up secure biosecurity of cargo and people moving from Oahu and other islands to Kauai. We're also trying to understand the issue of what's going on in Kauai. At this point, we don't think that there's a population of mongoose on Kauai, but we want to ensure that and to because if biosecurity is going to be effective, we have to ensure that we don't already have an incipient population. So our office working with KISS is going to undertake island-wide surveys over the next year where we're going to look, we're going to survey across the entire island and to see if there is a small population that has, has, has arrived without our detection. If we do detect that population there, then we will eradicate it. But the consensus is amongst uh, conservation agencies and our non-governmental partners is that we don't have a population of mongoose on Kauai at the moment.